New at four, the video gaming industry could be on the verge of exploding like Georgia's film industry. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is live in Northeast Atlanta with how one lawmaker thinks income tax credits are the key to luring this multi billion dollar industry. Richard? Matt Lawmaker wants to give the video game industry the same kind of tax credits the state is giving the film industry. And that is very good news to the folks here at SCAD, where they are teaching the next generation of video game designers. So work from the bottom to the top. At first glance, it looks like any other college classroom, students looking at their laptops. But look closer. These students are playing video games and designing brand new ones. Tino Haley is the associate dean of SCAD's Digital Media and Entertainment Arts Division. We have all these students who are making games. These students are making their own games, and when they graduate, that's what they have to do. But while many stay in Georgia, most have to go elsewhere to find good jobs, but that could soon change. State Representative Trey Rhodes is sponsoring a bill that would give certain video game companies the same kind of income tax credits the state gave the film industry. If they produce games from start to finish in Georgia and meet other requirements, those companies could get anywhere from a 20 to a 40 percent tax break. Tom Taylor, the chair of the Subcommittee of Economic Development for Film and Entertainment, thinks this could be another multi-billion dollar windfall for Georgia. These are hugely successful and gaming actually, I'm, I'm not sure the numbers, but worldwide probably brings in more money and more more uh, fans, I will say, are more users than the motion picture business does. Tina O'Haley, who says 98% of her students find jobs, thinks this kind of bill is crucial to keep this young talent in Georgia. They're playing games, they're making games, studying games, and now they can stay here and make their own companies. The full House approved this bill this morning, so now it's on to the Senate. We are live in Northeast Atlanta. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.